Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm watching videos uh, on craft to inspire its Facebook group uh, made by Tina Steinhaus and I love ladies from there. They are sharing different types of techniques and uh, projects and I'm watching Tina when, when she's making her franken paper and I was totally inspired so I made my franken paper and since that I totally understand what that means franken paper or collage paper franken paper it's paper where you can see from both sides what kind of pieces have you used and glued together to make one big piece from those small pieces collage paper it's so that you will take big piece of paper and you will glue those small pieces on that big piece so i did my own <laughs> franken paper and then i took my camera and i switch it on and i started to cut it on pieces and talk to that camera and then <laughs> i noticed i switched it but to pause so i'm gonna just tell you what i did i created my franken paper then i used uh, craft medium uh, this is crea box from marabu uh, this is the name of company marabu company uh, i found this collection in a lidl or, or local lidl shop and there are uh, different mediums and i use this number five clear uh, crystal clear medium from this side of my paper i uh, put there that clear medium and let it dry and when I was talking that I, I'm thinking that I'm taking that video, I used another thing uh, I've got in my stuff for a very long time. It's when I bought it, I thought I'm buying a white fine embossing powder, but what came? It's like granulate. I think this is like enamel, uh, that enamel uh, embossing en enamel enamel. So what I did. This is uh, that colored side and on that side where I have used that clear uh, clear acrylic gel, uh, I put some colors to distress my background. I used walnut stain and black suit and then I put on the top like nice amount of this of this powder and I melt it down and then I used my stamps. And once it was uh, still hot, hot, hot and melted, I used my stamps and press it in, into that, into that, I don't know what is it, <laughs> embossing powder probably, or that enamel. And then I took my stamps off and I've got this beautiful uh, embossed image. And I, once it was dry, I cracked that, uh, that rest. So I was thinking... <laughs> Yeah, I missed that taken video about this process, but maybe I can somehow create something different. This, uh, I wanna... Where is my brush? Here is some brush. I would like to use some colors on that. And I've got here something what i totally messed up with uh, idea patina from may mary spa i will put the names down below everything i'm using uh, idea patina this is rusty patina uh, i made mistake when i started to work with this uh, bottle i didn't uh, clean my brush when i put it to color uh, with that metallic uh, base and i uh, painted i don't know what i did what i did but i put that a dirty brush with that color into my patina so it uh, already got rusted that acid liquid which is making that rusty effect so i'm using it here just for <laughs> for coloring you can see that now <laughs> how <laughs> how dark it is i'm gonna color this my embossed effect but this needs to dry over the night to have some some effect using this rostock uh, rostock i'm sorry that, that's check word uh, this liquid so i'm gonna just wipe this or uh, put this liquid into my embossed uh, duck and i will hope that at, at morning i will have some result i'm not sure if it even works because i think all that rust effect it's already gone because i use that dirty 
dirty brush, but at least I will have here some kind of colors from that left. And I was thinking maybe I can use another tack from my Franken paper and maybe I can create something, something else. So if you don't know the Facebook group Craft to Inspire, I will put link down below. You go to go to have a look, go to ask ladies, go to join this group because ladies are totally amazing, really. They inspire me so much. Especially Tina, I love her style. I, I love her to listen to her videos. She's got wonderful demos. Wonderful demo videos. She's a great teacher. So I'm gonna let it dry over the night. I already like it like it's now, so I hope it will dry like with beautiful effect. Hopefully, hopefully it will stay there something till the morning. So I'm gonna take some different stuff and I will try to do some different technique, something just with stamping probably. So I was digging into my drawers. And I found these, uh, these are wooden pieces, these two, these three, <laughs> are wooden pieces where I actually used that rusty patina. And this is frame from uh, craft clay I created a long time ago. So maybe I will use them and from the Tim Holtz, those chipboard pieces, uh, I think I'm going to use this relic. And I've got here those uh, photos and I found that... That frame it's actually sitting on those photos really beautifully so I'm gonna use that lady probably I'm not sure probably I will use her and I will create something or at least I will try to create something using my stuff so first uh, this is that size uh, side where I use that uh, medium. So uh, now I'm going to try one technique. It's very old technique using oil pastels. And I think I saw that on Tim Holtz channel, if I'm not mistaken. When he did background and then he sprayed it with uh, sprays to create, you know, um, those images stayed there. And I think he used... Uh, oil pastels or maybe he used his uh, those crayons now I'm not sure I think he used those pastels oil oil pastels but we will see I will do something <laughs> what I will do I'm gonna use those oil pastels I'm gonna show you and I will write down uh, all information so these are oil pastels I've got them for a long time but I'm not using too much my stuff so I decided to be much better with using all those uh, supplies I bought through to those years. I'm in this craft family. And I'm gonna just rub it into my paper to create like a coat with those pastels. and maybe something on the bottom somewhere here maybe maybe some different pastels maybe I can use the <coughs> oh these are Andy Skinner stencils and they are beautiful as well I like all my stencils so I think this uh, where is it Oh, come on. How many times I'm going to flip it over this number? I guess I'm going to use that number 337. But for that, I would like more to have black and red color. So for number, I'm going to give it a try. If I will be successful with Ooh, that. different color this one this is more to <coughs> more to um, not burgundy more to purple I wanna have it oh, red red and like 
press it into my paper and pluck one I'm gonna use for in O just like this hopefully that will work it should it should work because oil pastels have beautiful you know coating uh, effect yeah, I need to wipe it out so what I'm gonna do next <laughs> I've got here and I'm using it all the time uh, for my stamping and sometimes for stenciling when I am lazy to find out another different uh, different ink pad I'm using ink pad <coughs> with my printer ink <laughs> this is bottle uh, with bulk ink for inject printer black color just normal uh, bottle for you know for those who like to refill is it that, that right word uh, ink cartridges so I bought that bottle I'm not using it for my printer but I'm using it for stamping and what I did, I think this will be enough, yes. So what I did before, what I tried before, I've got here a bottle with water and with walnut stain uh, re-inker, distress ink re -inker, that liquid. So I sprayed my table like a lot, 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 lot. And I use this printer ink. black one and spray it again to make a spa and I'm gonna try to dip my tack into this color and because I have used that uh, medium it shouldn't soak through if I use that medium right way and it should make some protection for my paper but I, I can see <laughs> that I probably didn't use a lot so I'm gonna dip my paper into this bath yeah here on the top I didn't use the mo much and I've got here another paper which I'm using you know for those leftovers this is just normal cardstock so I'm always like taking see proper proper this not distress color it with inject printer not inject yeah inject inject printer ink so right now I'm gonna use my heating tool and I'm gonna dry that tack with my heating tool and we will see how it will looks like so I'm gonna dry it and where I use those oil pastels it should it should stay clear at least here here it should stay with those colors so I'm gonna dry it I think it's dry everywhere Yeah, I think I've got here a little bit of that, uh, of that um, yeah, enamel, <laughs> what's probably on my table. <laughs> and now, oh, this is dirty. I'm gonna try to wipe a little bit this top. Yeah, there is something a little bit. So what next? Next, some stamping. Oh, I don't like to show you my stamping because I'm really like <clears throat> <laughs> no good in it <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to do some very quick stamping hopefully I will don't mess up I think somewhere here this is glitch that uh, bigger collection not glitch mini but that uh, that normal glitch 
Ah, it's not too bad. Okay, and some more stamping. So I did a little bit more stamping here and here on the top. I don't want to show too much my stamping because my hand <laughs> looks like this after stamping. <laughs> I'm like very messy. And I'm gonna uh, create the top of this paper like a tag before I will attach any embellishments. I'm gonna very carefully fold these two corners together very carefully and cut All like this. So I do have shape as a tag. Here it's getting unglued. And now I will start to build up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do next? But before I will do anything else, I'm gonna take this ink again. I'm gonna open the bottle. And I will try to take a little bit of that color on my brush. Yeah, I took quite a lot. And to do some small splatters. Here. Here. Just a little bit. Just like this. And wipe it off. Close the bottle. I don't want to have any color on my table. So now I can start to build up. I do have here, this is a piece of metal uh, from Can from Energy Drinks. I used 3D. I didn't see that it's dark <laughs> so this is 3d embossing folder from Tim Holtz uh, the name is Me mechanics here I will put in all information down below so I uh, glued can on a piece of Cereali box then uh, I used that can for my ATC card look at that <laughs> I'm so happy that that's inspired by Tina as well, by the way. <laughs> she sent me amazing card. So uh, that leftover, I could on pieces. I've got a few of them over there. And I'm going to use them here and there. And this one I embossed with this embossing folder. And I've got here glitch, uh, glitch stamp, that circle, which I fussy cut out. And I cut out also that uh, inside piece. I used die. I'm going to say um, I used circle die from... I think it's Sizzix, those stitched, stitched dies, those, um, what is it, nesting dies, is it? I'm not sure the name. So I used circle to cut it out, that uh, inside, because I will be terrible with my hand. And I'm thinking to use piece of that under, I guess this way. So I'm going to make a mark for myself. Or probably I'm just gonna glue it together and then cut that extra and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit down and I'm gonna use a double-sided tape that foam double-sided tape and I'm gonna glue it Get. Okay, now I know where to put my double-sided tape. So here. And here. Let's do 
celui-là. Okay. And I'm gonna glue it to that metallic piece. I'm not sure if I will use uh, some coloring on this one, maybe not. Maybe I will leave it silver, or maybe I will <laughs> decide later. <laughs> it's always a way how to color your metallic piece, even if you will have it already on your pro project. It's always, you know, small brushes and take the time with coloring which way I want it. I think this way. Yes, somehow like this. Yes, yes, yes. And I think I want to place it here. Like this. Yes. So I'm gonna put there a glue. And because it's uh, that um, metal, a uh, can metal, it's glued on a piece of Serali box. It's good now to use normal glue. Yeah, I'm gonna place it this way. And from this side, I'm just gonna put it off along the tuck yes <clears throat> here I'm gonna use on the top this uh, second circle here in the middle I've got uh, this is when uh, you using you know circle punches so I've got this one here aha I will need new glue I'm gonna place it to the top like this and a little bit here. Yeah, I guess this way. My good, my good. And now those other pieces. So I've got here this the lady. can put the photo exactly how it is and show yourself yes I guess this way they have opened this bottle it looks like it not so hopefully it will work gonna put tacky glue on this frame and glue it together with that photography and as I said this frame it's from craft, uh, craft clay I made it a while ago and I used that uh, rusty patina on the top and then let it dry through tonight and it make beautiful rusty effect if I will place it here Maybe. I'm gonna use the walnut stain and I'm gonna distress just these edges here. And I think I'm gonna use the walnut stain also on edges on my tack. Not too much, I don't want to make it too dark because it's already dark. <laughs> like this. Now, how I, how I will put that, those pieces? I can place this one here. I can still move it a little bit underneath. Like 
ไว้กิจนุ๊กปัจจัยไลท์เดชอลอตสอบฟิร์สต์ว่าผมจะทำคือผมจะทำให้ทุกอย่างเป็นห้องนี้และทำให้ตัวฟิกเตอร์ตัดกีร์ซึ่งผมตัดกีร์ในไม้ภาพและผมตัดอีกหนึ่งบัตรกีร์ในนี้ปลาหรือกีร์ผมจะตัดตัดตะกี้กลูและกลูอีกหนึ่งบัตรกีร์You will be here later. So these need to be just on the bottom this way. Yes, like this. Now I'm gonna put glue on the back side of that photography. Glue it down this way. Place it with that cross underneath. Here, that relic, I can glue it. Yes, I think I will like it this way. And I should, before I started to put any kind of decoration, I should use also my sewing machine and sew it all around. So it will be without sewing effect. Hold on, I do have stamps. Oh, I forgot I have stamps. Have I used any? Maybe I can try. This one. I'm gonna give it a try. With my lovely stamping. <laughs> Oi, sorry, pardon me, pardon me. No. Maybe I can give it try, right? But I will like to have it in a, no, not in black black color. I think I just need to wipe it very lightly. And now hope for the best. It's not too bad, actually. Look at that. It's not too bad. So this is my sharing. <laughs> But next time I have to remember to use my sewing machine. So this is my sharing for today. What I'm doing with my Franken paper. I'm gonna let it dry properly, and then on this side, uh, I would like to just stick, you know, writing paper for some notes. But first. I need to let it dry properly, and I want to use my crocodile to punch the hole. Punch the hole, and place there some. So I'm gonna use this Utah thread and wipe it. Stick it here like this, and maybe later when all will dry, I will use also some embellishment to hang it here. So you will see that probably on my Instagram. Thank you so much for visiting me today. If you stay till the end, thank you so much for that. Uh, I hope you've got wonderful time. Take care about our, about yourself, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.